Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to solve a 5x5 Rubik's Cube. So obviously first you're going to need a 5x5, and my recommendation is to either get the Maylong M, or just the Maylong. If you want a really good 5x5, get the YJMGC, which is this one, it has no logo. This one is unfortunately discontinued, it is the Volk 5, if you do happen to have this lying around, this is a really good 5x5, and I love it. So the method we're going to be using is called the reduction method, which basically turns the 5x5 into a center, edges, and a corner. So centers are just basically just this 3x3 three three grid, edges are obviously just these three edges, and there are 12 of these triplets of edges, and uh, the corners, we don't have to worry about these since you can't really separate them. If I do this... You still have just eight corners that are, are not touched. So the way we start out is by making the white center, or if you're color neutral and you want to challenge yourself, you can start with any color center, but I will just start with white for simplicity. So the first thing we're going to do is make the white center bar. So like this is an edge center that can go right here if I turn the front face and move it up. So now these two are attached, and I'll do the same thing over here with this one, or this one's the easiest, it can just go up in one move. If you can make this, this is basically what we're going to be doing, we're going to make bars, so a bar here and a bar here. So um, here are here's a perfect example of a sub. So you can put this one into here with a slice move, but don't do this, do Y do you, and then another Y do you. So fast it would look like this, and then just put it all into the top, but make sure not to break your center bar. And I'll do it with the last one. So I get this one. I want to move it down, but that breaks the white center that we've already made, the two bars. So we're going to move this bar into the slice, so that when I move it down, nothing's affected. Now this is here. I'll just pair it with this corner, like this. And this one I can move it out of the center by turning the front face so that these two are not affected. And then just moving it all up. And then there is my white center. Next I'm going to do the same thing with the yellow. So here is the yellow edge. And here is the yellow edge. This yellow edge is already here which is lucky. I'm trying this so that this, when I, I can just put it up just like this. But I want this over here so that when I split this up, it is a center bar, but this comes up. So then we're going to move the center bar out of the way and move it back down, and now I have the center bar. I will next try to find this, or just any like two corners or something, or if you don't, you're unlucky, you're unlucky and um, you have to make your own two by one. So if I had to make my own 2x1, um, I would, let's pretend this is not here, uh, I would find corner and edge, make sure they're in different faces and just put them in such a way that they would line up, and then I would attach the last corner like that. I'll move it up, out of the way, so move these here, and move it back down. And I'll do the same thing with the last bar. So this, this is stuck up here, so I can move it down, out of the way, and up, and then I'll put it in. But if you put it up, you can't really move it out of the way since this is complete now. So instead you're going to line this up with here so that it kicks this one out like that. Next thing we're going to do is make the rest of the centers. Your first center will be similar to the white center, so I'll just do that really quickly. Here's 2x2x3, two by, two by or 2x3, two not 2x2x3. Two by two by Here is the whole center, and then the rest of them will just be like the yellow center. So here's a bar. Here I can hide this, move this out, bring it back, do the same thing again, and I'll just put it all into the green center, do the same thing with the last bar. 
and I'll see you guys when I have the last two centers complete. And for the last two centers, you want to work left to right or right to left, depending on if you're left or right handed. So I finished everything, just going to put this into here. Now I'll start working on edge pairing. So I will find three edges of the same color, so like these two are the same color. And where's my last one? Here is the same color, and I can just match these two and match these three. And I'll just put it up and replace it with a random edge. This one is just the easiest. I can just do U prime, move it down. Then um, I'll look for the last blue orange edge. So that would be, it might be on the other side too. It is right here. I will put it in. Doesn't really matter which orientation because there is a flipping algorithm. I will just put it up, move a random edge in, move it down, and here's the last orange green edge. Move it in. Now is where I'll need my flipping algorithm. So I need to flip either these two or this one to get this edge solved. So I'll just move this one out of the way. The flipping algorithm is just R U R prime hedge. Move it back. Here it is. So what R U R prime hedge actually does is it takes out a random edge. That edge is right here, and then you put it in a different way using F moves. And since you use F moves. It'll turn the good edge into a bad edge. Another way you can do it is just taking out the edge and just putting it back in like this. But that requires a rotation and you don't really want to do this. I'll just keep doing this. Okay. So it might look like my centers are like not solved, but I can always just solve it like this. So we'll we'll just solve it after we've done eight edges and they're all on the top or bottom which is white and yellow here it can be any other color but i just prefer white and yellow just because it's simpler so i'll just pair these two if i try to pair them right now they will be flipped so um i can flip this one pair them this one here i can put it in oh it's flipped and then here i can add it take this one down so by moving this up, take it down. This, I just need to find the last edge. Here it is. It's flipped. Join them. This is flipped. Take it out. Flip. Put it back. And I will just do the rest of the edge pairing until all... There are four edges up here that are solved and four edges down here that are solved. I've made my last edge, I'm just going to put it up here, fix all my centers, and then now I'm on last four edges. So the thing we're going to be doing here is we're going to find all three edges that need to go together. We're going to make sure, okay, so we're going to ignore this edge because this is just the center edge, or the middle edge, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to put these two in the same, in the same row, or slice, and then we're going to put this one in the place of this one and then do a flip and then slice back now they're all one we will fix this flip at the end let's do the same with um, this one so move this over flip it move it back same thing here I can put them in the same layer move it over flip put it back and this one is just move it over Flip it so that these two are down here, and put it back. Okay, so now I've solved all my edges. They're all paired up, but they're not all flipped correctly. So if you have an even number of these, so like either two or four or zero if you're lucky, then you can just do like, you need to flip this one, so I'll flip it with this one. This is also a flipped edge, so slice flip slice but you have an odd number you need to do a parity algorithm and the reason behind parity is really complicated i won't explain it all in this video if you guys want a video on parity just let me know in the comments the algorithm is this just follow along i'll do it slowly
there we go now it is just a three by three so like um here's the cross and as long as you just turn the outer layers it is literally just a three by three and if you don't know how to solve a three by three go learn Oh my goodness, I cannot see this lot. And then here's F2L, or F4L, and then here is OLL, and PLL. That is how you solve a 5x5. Thank you guys so much for watching. Since you made it to the end, you guys might as well like the video because you learned how to solve a 5x5.